Wall coverings with NoraPlan. First, mark the wall border strip on the floor in the entire room at a distance of 10 centimeters from the wall. Tidily lay the rolls on the floor flush with this marking. Take a look at video number two from our video library to see how to properly bond NoraPlan flooring. Allow the adhesive to harden for at least 24 hours before continuing work. Only then should you tidily cut the border strip edge using the 10 cm Nora steel rule. Attach the adhesive tape to the wall. The unreeling disc makes sure of the correct height. Simply turn over the roll on the disc when changing direction. Cut off and remove about two centimeters of the protective paper from the bottom. Now cut the H9010 cushioned edge profile to mitre and apply it along the edge between the floor and the wall. Tidily finish off all the corners. Now apply the adhesive tape to the remaining free border strip element on the floor and remove any overlap. Cut the adhesive tape to mitre as well using the convenient Nora stencils. Now cut off strips from the covering 19 centimeters wide and simply and quickly cut them to fit the corners using the Nora stencils. Remove the protective paper at the bottom. First position the border strip so that it fits against the floor edge before bonding it. Now glue the border strip to the wall as well. Important, prepare the corners properly. Use the Nora stencils again to apply the finishing touches at the corners. Cut the second border strip element to shape and then fit and bond it along the floor edge starting in the corner. Firmly press the corner down. Now open the seam between the border strip and the surface using the manual cutting blade. Heat up the hand operated hot welding gun, place it on the joint and seal it using the hot welding rod at a temperature of between 350 and 400 degrees Celsius. Make the first cut using the 0.7 millimeters distance guide. Wait until the first cut has cooled down before making the second cut and do not use the distance guide. Now prepare the corners for the 1K sealing compound. Apply at least 5 centimeters of liquid wax to all the joints and leave it to dry.
Tidily finish off the joints using the stencil, manual joint cutter and laying knife. Apply the 1K sealing compound into the joint and smooth it down using the smoothing spatula. Important, when smoothing down the joint sealing compound, hold the smoothing spatula as level as possible, otherwise you might create some hollow joints which could make the seam more susceptible to collecting dirt later. Leave the joint sealing compound to harden for at least 12 hours. Only then should you manually remove the excess material next to the joint. The result is a perfect wall covering. Anybody who would like to learn more about rubber floor coverings and how to work with them is more than welcome to visit the Nora Training Center, where our company's experts offer soundly based courses in theory and practice. After all, a good floor is always created by combining premium flooring material with a professional installation. For information on local training courses, please visit www.nora.com forward slash trainings.